Well, good afternoon. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. I'm really glad you could join me here today out in the vegetable garden. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. You know, we have Memorial Weekend coming up, and so this is going to be a hot week. They have the, in the 80s, you know, and this is the time to plant those warm weather loving crops, you know, like your tomatoes, your peppers, your melons, your zucchini. And, you know, today I wanted to share some tips and ideas with you on how that you can plant Walt Ham Butternut Squash. It's a winter variety. And so I wanted to share with you how you could plant that in your vegetable garden. So thanks for joining me today. So follow me along and I'm going to show you where I'm going to be planting these down below the pond. So I'm going to be planting these butternut winter squash down below the pond. So follow me along. So down below there I have four 30 inch by 60 inch raised planter beds that I recycled out of some old picnic tables. And that's where I'm going to be planting in the one here. And so I grow all my pumpkins down here and my butternut squash and different melons because they vine out really far. And so I'm going to be planting right here in this raised planter bed. So I have my garden fork here, and you always want to, you know, work through your soil, make sure it's nice and loose. Now what I'm using here is my composted leaf mulch, amended with topsoil. I get about 10 cubic yards of that every spring, and that'll last me some into next year too. And then I also worked in some alfalfa pellets a couple weeks ago, so they began to break down in the soil. And so work through your soil, make sure it's nice and loose. Because you want those roots to be able to spread far and wide. And you know, you can also take your fork and turn it the other way. And don't be afraid to rock it back and forth to help loosen the soil even down below, down a little deeper. And you know, these butternut squash, we really love them for, they're good, great for storage. So work through your soil, and then just, I take the back of my rake and level it off nice. And this, these forks are 12 inches long, so, you know, it goes easily into the soil. You know, that way your roots can spread far and wide you know, and, and absorb more nutrients resulting in larger, healthier plants. So these market packs always come with a little handy label with some information on them. So let's just take a minute here and read this. Waltham butternut squash is a winter variety and it matures in 83 to 115 days. And the fruit size is three to six pounds. You know, the more fertile your soil is, looser the soil, the, you know, the larger your fruit's going to be. It says it's a delicious fruit with nutritious deep orange flesh and heavy yielding. It and it matures in 83 to 115 days. You space about four feet apart. You know, it's always good to mulch your soils too. The mulch helps suppress the weeds and holds in the moisture in the soil and also, you know, helps warm the soil up in the spring. And then you also want to make sure you keep these well watered I'm also going to cover these with some small uh, fence section sections I have. They're about four foot by four foot, maybe a little bit larger, but I'm going to lay these over these plants as they grow. Uh, you know, nothing seems to butter, bother these butternut squash. Something very easy to do, something I would encourage you to try planting in your garden. And you know, whenever you buy a cell pack, it never hurts to take them out of the container and just to inspect 
the root ball make sure they're not uh, root bound and so these here are really good and so I want to be just planting two of these in this raised bed here and this I'm just going to use my hand you could certainly you could use a little hand trowel you know I always enjoy planting because that's the easy part it's the soil prep it's the you know wheeling the compost you know or your soils in different areas of your garden whether you use a wheelbarrow I did a video a couple months ago using my backhoe to bring down some compost here because this is a pretty far distance from my pile. And so I'm going to plant one more here. I'm going to try to get it out of this cell pack. There you go. You know, sometimes if you have a hard time getting them out of these, you could always use scissors and cut the corner or two, and that works out really well. And I always take my four fingers and just make a little square out of them and press down on the root ball a little bit and then you know I just like taking my hands and leveling the soil off a little bit and then just take your watering can and water them in real nice and these uh, you know these squash they like full sun you know minimum six to eight hours of sunlight you know the more sun the better and you want to make sure you plant these in a room area where they're going to be able to vine out you know a good eight feet eight to ten feet you know pumpkins are even further they'll go out maybe 12 feet or more and so uh so anyhow that pretty much does it for planting these these uh winter squash out here again these, and these are great for storage too uh, we keep ours in our garage and you know they'll store for a good four or five months and that way you, you know you can uh have some nice food for over the winter, nice healthy organic food. And so, so anyhow, if you have any questions or comments about this video, feel free to leave them in the section below. And so I just want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. So I hope you have a wonderful day. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.